Hello, my name is Ken Small, and I'm an architect with SSA Architecture in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you've been looking at our old videos that we posted of installing solar on my house in 2016, um, or early January 2016 is when the final install was done, then um, you're probably wondering, well, where's the report on the economics? And um, so I had intended to post um, more information on that as time went on, but um, I'm here at this point to let you know. And I'm also going to talk about uh, a few other things that are uh, about the economics of it and um, a little bit about some uh, related project going forward. So um, the first thing, as you may recall, is that uh, there was only so much area of my roof that was available for the ideal location for solar panels. At the time, the local uh, public utility that um, is NV Energy was uh, only offering back about, um, let us say, a tenth of what it was worth for power that was pumped into the grid. And um, so I decided not to uh, face panels in other directions where they weren't particularly economic in order to get up to the total amount of energy that we were using. And um, for that reason, um, we talked about this bottle of water thing, which I won't repeat. I know you've heard it a few times in the prior videos. Um, shortly after I got the system installed, they changed the rules and they started giving a reasonable amount of return for energy pumped into the grid. And then, just to make it a little bit more confusing, I have a two-year-old now, and so our expectations were that uh, his mom and I would be gone to work from um, whatever, seven, eight o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. every day. And with the arrival of our son, that has not been the case. Um, a third thing is that I bought a Tesla automobile in 2015 and um, I had not originally thought that the economics would be affected by that but by um, transferring some of our discretionary power use into the evenings we were able to save a little bit on our total electric bill um, prior to the actual calculations of the solar install and what it did. So uh, the first question you're probably going to want to know the answer to is uh, did it pay for itself in the projected five years? And the answer is it actually paid for itself in about four and a half. And um, the difference was uh, a little bit of guesstimating on my part, but also since they were giving more money back um, for energy put into the grid as opposed to utilized straight out of the panels when we're typically not home the numbers ended up being a little bit better um, and uh, then you know looking at that overall um, I think we had about uh, between seven and eight grand into it after the tax savings and um, the actual amount of energy that we were getting out of it is about 3.5 kW peak and uh, it's a 7.5 kW system but uh, because of the angle of the roof and not wanting to put the um, panels on racks and things like that um, we knew we were going to get lower utilization and then um, one other thing is that there's a big palm tree in my yard facing that um, a panel area that's on the front of the house and we just never have really had the heart to cut the palm tree down I think it's obvious that it would have saved us uh, more money had the palm tree shadow not crossed the solar panels every day but again um, the economics of it are that we saved um, the cost of electricity or it paid for itself in the cost savings electricity within about four and a half years. Um, electric rates have changed also and of course they always go up and we look forward to future increases in rates. 
So uh, what percentage of my bill did this end up being well, on um, the primary electric load in Las Vegas for a house of this nature is basically going to be air conditioning. So we get into the uh, colder months, we're down to very low numbers in the $30 a month, $40 a month range. The peak summer before we started this was in the high 600s and now it's in the low 350s and um, part of that is um, two air conditioning units on the house an old house that has had a few upgrades you know better windows and what have you but we we don't we suspect that there's not very good insulation in the walls uh, as compared to a modern house and the house isn't particularly tight although you don't feel a breeze blowing through it when it's windy outside it's not tight like a a new house would be anything built in the last five or ten years would be much tighter and um, so uh, good investment and now we're into uh, six months beyond the payback period so we've probably saved um, I don't know six or eight hundred dollars in, in that six months being peak summertime when we're paying the peak load rates the third bottle of water that costs two bucks a bottle and um, so I would say it's a good investment. And um, so uh, a little bit more about the economics. Um, we have had no service calls at all, knock on wood. Uh, the Solar Edge system has been virtually bulletproof. Um, took a little learning curve on my end that when the grid goes down or you have to uh, shut down the system for some other reason, it doesn't come back on automatically so a couple times it was off for a few days and I didn't notice and then um, came back and flipped it on which is pretty effortless press button type thing but um, if the power I think one time the power grid had gone down and then I wasn't in the house so when I came back um, another family member reset the clocks and I never noticed that it was without power so it took me a few days before I checked the uh, smartphone app and realized uh, it's been off. Um, would I recommend the system? Yes. I recommend the whole system including all the parts. So um, the uh, Solar Edge has been uh, highly recommendable. I know they have a more modern unit now but it's good. The one we have is good and uh, we know somebody else has the modern one and it's been operating flawlessly. Um, the other uh, bits and pieces we bought from uh, the Alt-E store, very happy with them. Um, things that don't really have much to do with the solar system but were done anyway like installing a new roof in that area. Mm, it's a three tab shingle 25 year roof. Um, other than the fact that we punched a bunch of holes in it installing the solar rack system, what could go wrong? So, uh, been all good choices, quite satisfied with it all. Um, we did over order a bit on some things uh, from All E to make sure we had everything we needed. And um, then when the electrician came, didn't turn out we needed it all. Um, so, um, highly recommended. Uh, the panels that we have, I, they're uh, again variable in the time of year and time of day but there were about um, 325 watt panels um, if I had it to do over again and we'll talk more about that later um, I would go for a higher rated panel and that is because uh, we only had so much roof area but um, that was there's a usually a price point change when you get up into the uh, the newest, latest, greatest, most efficient uh, panels and so there was a big jump after that and um, so uh, made a decision on first cost not to go beyond that. Um, other choices that I made, we could have changed the pitch of that hip end of the roof over the garage to make it um, more oriented towards the uh, solar requirements. Mm. I didn't think it would look right on the house. Uh, the economics of it were hard to prove. You're just changing a few degrees. 
Um, our roof is at uh, about somewhere between four and four and a half inch well, and um, so it would have been significantly different. And I do think it would have improved uh, the performance of the system. Certainly, if I was designing a new house, I would definitely let the uh, solar orientation of the roof uh, dictate the, the layout of the roof and the slope of the roof. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense then because you're typically only setting trusses, but to overframe an existing house that's built out of the combination of stick framing and trusses to try to change the angle to match the sun when everything else is the old angle, mm, not, not a good choice in my opinion. So um, where do we go from there? Well, a uh, few different things. Um, one is that, as I said in the original install, we expect to be in the house indefinitely. And um, now that the uh, payback has changed um, and we're at home more often, then um, it looks like it would be logical to go ahead and soak up the remaining capacity of the 7.5 kW um, solar edge um, inverter. And uh, so I'm going to do that. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that going forward and um, try to give you um, two more videos on this topic. Um, one is going to be uh, lessons learned, what would I have done differently? So even though I say everything was perfect, uh, nothing's really ever perfect and there's always room for improvement. So I would give you what would I have done differently and uh, lessons learned, which is not necessarily things that I would done, have done differently, but things to know for those of you who are buying new systems. And then um, I have a plan to improve the system. So that's going to be coming up. It'll be a construction project. Um, right now, there's been some scarcity of material, which has kind of held me up. Um, I've got the material for the racks, um, and uh, I've got a plan on how it's going to go together. So that'll be the third video in the series. And then um, after this, you're probably going to see some construction photography of what's been built and talk a little bit more about um, how all that works. So um, for right now, hopefully you'll be seeing this one and two others coming up in the immediate future. And then depending on material availability and schedule, uh, more on additional construction. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Ken Small with SSA Architecture in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you need an architect to design your solar system, that's not normally what we do. Uh, this is just something about my personal house and uh, we thought it would be interesting to you. I have put solar on a couple of buildings, but for the most part when we do that kind of work, we hire electrical engineers to assist us. We're primarily commercial architects. Thanks a lot and have a great day.